Well, hello again, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, cardboard crawlers of all nations. Appreciate you tuning in. As always, we are back in the outdoor amphitheater with the Maz Designs WT Micro FJ45. Getting busy in the rocks in mid-November. Having a beautiful day here. It I slept through a little bit of it. Having some trouble sleeping at night. Uh, my body is used to um, like switching over to a nighttime schedule at this time of year. And um, with me not going back to Sugar Bowl this season... Uh, uh, my body thinks I'm going back, but uh, I'm not. So, uh, yeah, just having a little bit of trouble sleeping at night. And so I slept through part of the day today and uh, got up and blew off my driveway, went over to Jimmy's and blew off his real quick. Blue went over and visited, and um, the lighting is just beautiful right now, late afternoon, and... Thought I'd come out and give you something to enjoy on your Sunday evening uh, on the Bamboo Highway there. Just cruising through the rocks. As you can see, the rocks look real clean and everywhere else is, uh, you know, you see all those leaves and debris there. So I just get my blower and I blow the rocks, blow the driveway. My driveway is like grass and gravel kind of mix. I actually park on my back lawn. I don't know. It, eventually that'll change, but I'm just not in a big hurry to put like a carport or anything in my yard. It's just not a priority for me right now. And um, yeah, but you, you know, loving this rig. Uh, once again, shout it out to CCXRC for pine trees, man. You know, if you haven't uh, you know, if you're having problems with traction and, and you, you know, you're changing tires or you're, you know, you think it's your tires or whatever and you're, you know, you're running a stock foam or even a foam that's a couple sizes smaller than a stock foam, I highly recommend, you know, you spend the 20 or 25 bucks on uh, a set of uh, inserts if you can afford them or if you have a 3D printer, you know, look online and see if you can find a print pattern and and get some printed up for yourself. Um, the pine trees and the scramblers just work fantastic. You can see in a lot of these close up how much tire um, compression you get and and um, forgiveness uh, traction wise. Obviously, you know there's always a line here or there that you're gonna get a little slipping or you know um, quote unquote push. You know it's like a understeer kind of situation and uh, you know you can pull the winch out and do that but because I have no gates set up it's really not a big deal I don't mind a little uh, slip and slide and uh, re-coordinate your line here or there but you know you go slow through things and um, you know just really concentrate on your line and 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 get that tire to get into that crack or cranny or grab the the little nub on a rock and and uh, you know you it's amazing what these little vehicles will do um, when you're really, you know, trying to drive them and not just when in doubt throttle out and, and just banging through the rocks. You know, a little back up there just to get that tire lined up. I think I'd do another one actually here too. Um, I kind of have my rear diff hung and I'm actually just, you know, really hanging that tire out there really almost past the balance point but it just comes back to me here and boom i'm able to just slow slow crawl that with that um lizard pro and the uh that is a micro komodo in that rig not the mini the mini is in another rig and the micro is in the green fj and right there you know i missed the little spot somehow i thought i was through the dirt right there we come from the rock section that you can see behind over to this rock section to the new part of the section and i had thought i filmed a time lapse you know i mean they only end up being about four seconds or whatever for 15 20 seconds of video 
and I, it just wasn't in there when I went to edit, so I don't know if I just didn't hit, sometimes I think I hit the record button and I don't, so, you know, it is what it is, not the end of the world, still a beautiful uh, shot here, and um, awesome, awesome afternoon out in the rocks, really enjoyed filming this one today. And um, just trying to do that, you know, just trying to enjoy what I am doing and not think about what I'm not doing, which is normally I'm traveling across the country right about this time of year. I usually have things loaded up and I'm ready to go back to my normal situation. Um, and things have changed. So I'm um, just, you know, trying to figure some things out and do, you know, just live your life right cook yourself dinner every day and uh, you know get some nutrition in you and, and a little bit of exercise and visit with people that you care about and um, you know spend time with the d d d d o g o love my dog so and and he loves you know hanging out and he he's a he's a great little animal so you know uh, wheeling and he likes to hang out while we're wheeling. He likes to hang out no matter what I'm doing. He he is a he is a true companion. And um, for those of you who've met him, you know that for sure. And um, for those of you who haven't, uh, I'm sure you've seen him in the videos in the background. And and uh, you can tell he's a pretty decent dude. So. Yeah, just uh, I really love this FJ. Um, it's a little heavy, you know. I'll be honest, it's a little bit heavy, um, and it's on a short chassis. So, you know, uh, or not not a short chassis, but a C10 JLU wheelbase, and um, you know, I mean that that's what this body is, quote unquote, designed for. I mean, I guess you could put it on a deadbolt wheelbase or you know deadbolt link setup uh, might be a little bit different um i just i happen to be running a c10 setup in this and uh you know maz links all around straight axles we have a hex widener kit in this one um scramblers with pine trees in it i run a little tiny 350 milliamp uh gonig battery i think that's how you say it um these little tiny batteries i need to get uh, it'd be nice to get a 3s uh, i don't need to get anything uh, it would be interesting to run some 3s if anybody wants to send me a 3s battery 1575 west new york avenue southern ponds 283875 north carolina make it happen um yeah, and if you want to come by and hit the rocks, there's the address. Get after it. I ain't afraid. Come have some fun. Um, so, yeah, at, you know, the the Maz chassis, you know, what, what can you say? You know, we've all, maybe we all haven't heard about them or seen about them and you know for those of you in other countries or whatever you know check out mazdesigns.com he makes some really great products wt micros if you're interested in one of these bodies they make a half cab version a double cab version an extended cab version and just the standard cab version here um, don't quote me on I, yeah i'm pretty sure they make an extended cab. i think b cautioner has a video the blue and silver rig that he did is I think an extended cab um, and I don't know what chassis he built that up on I'll have to go back and watch that video of his shout out to Brian Koshner uh, so he, he he makes some absolutely beautiful rigs and really gets technical on his builds and really you know gets everything the fitment just right and his electron you know just his his build breakdowns um, if you haven't seen them, go check them out. Um, getting back over here to the helicopter pad and, uh, you know, just making a kind of a big circle. Uh, we didn't go up the log jam, but we, we, we took the little short bypass onto the bamboo highway there coming around. So we're just 
circling back around to kind of where we started, getting back to the grass where uh, the dog is ch, -ch chilling and, uh, you know, just having a good day. What are you going to do, right? There he is. There's that boy, Blue. And just making sure nobody comes up the driveway to mess with us. And, uh, you know, his favorite little truck coming to visit. So, I hope you all are enjoying. Remember, <clears throat> like, subscribe, comment. Um, I, I try to read all the comments. And, you know, if, if, if something worth talking about, I'll, I'll definitely uh, reply to it. Um, I appreciate those who replied last night on the the uh, oh the FMS LC80 video that I made. I was having some troubles with the remote, and I still haven't figured it out. But I also have not gone and gotten new batteries today for that remote. I, it may just be a battery issue where the the remote batteries are starting to starting to go on me and um it's just giving me a warning light it's the green led is flashing so uh, the shop mini rc i know you're well versed in that controller um i'm getting a little twitch out of my steering and like a sound you know like an esc like noise and my green led is just flat giving me a slow flash so it could be a binding issue or a rebind that I need to do, but it was working, like all the functions were working. So it could just be a battery indicator light that's that's not um, talked about in the uh, instruction booklet. Uh, so anyway, I really like that shot right there. Uh, sometimes I don't use the zoom function because I just forget to, to think to use it and um, you know that shot happened to just work out where the camera was just in the right position and I just clicked to zoom in but it's been a great little ride today ladies and gentlemen I really appreciate every one of you and uh, thanks for tuning in as always hope to see you again soon cardboard crawlers out